Last week was Patrick Mahomes' worst game of his career. Look, if you want to bet that he's got two bad games in a row, be my guest, but I'm not that dude. What's cracking, everybody? James Coe here with you. And we were a, eh, we were eh last week. We were three and two last week. We're 16 and 11 overall, a 57% win rate, which is okay. We're up 4.1 units, which is again, we're, we're hanging in there. It's not great. It's not bad. We're hanging in. All right, let's talk about week eight lines. And of course, all odds provided by Bovada. We're recording this as always on Monday. So you know the drill. It's the usual stuff. The line's going to move, yada, yada, yada. All right, Carolina going on the road, taking on Atlanta. And to be honest, I kind of sort of don't understand the line. The Falcons should be favored by six or more, and the line is three. The O-line in Carolina is is just a mess, and Sam Darnold is devolving. This Carolina Panthers team, they can't run the ball. And meanwhile, Atlanta's run defense is really good anyway. They're allowing 3.9 yards per carry to opposing running backs. That's one of the 10 best marks in the NFL. This should force Carolina to be more one-dimensional and rely more on Sam Darnold, which, as we have seen... That's not good. And then on the flip side, Atlanta's growing into Arthur Smith's offense. It took a while, but Atlanta, I feel like, has figured out how to best utilize Kyle Pitts, Calvin Ridley, and Cordero Patterson. All three of those guys have seen their roles change just a little bit over the course of seven weeks, and it's been for the best. Plus, Matt Ryan at home, it's the Falcons minus three, easy call. All right, Rams on the road, take it on the Houston Texans. It is a big, big line. As a matter of fact, it's the biggest spread of the week. But that being said, in three of their last four games. The Houston Texans have lost by 40, 28, and 26 points. And in fact, since Laramie Tunsil was put on IR, this Texans offense has scored six points total over their last two games. Six points total. Meanwhile, LA is cooking, man. Chef Stafford is in the kitchen. Boy, he is cooking. The Rams are averaging nearly 30 points a game, and this matchup is pristine. The Texans have given up the most rushing yards to running backs this year, and Daryl Henderson, man, he has been absolutely terrific. Big chunk plays on the ground should open up that play action game, just like Sean McVay loves to do. 35-10, Rams, lock it up. Miami at Buffalo, and we talked about this last week. Double-digit home favorites have been absolutely killing it this year. Seven and two against the spread, so I'm gonna get my Demon Slayer on and ride that train yet again. Listen, Miami did show signs of life last week, but you got to think this Buffalo team coming off of a bye week, coming off of a really bad loss against a depleted Tennessee team two weeks ago, you got to think the Bills are going to come in fresher and much more motivated than this one and six Dolphins team that is finding ways to lose ball games. And for Miami offensively, man, I I'm just coming up empty on how they score points against this Bills defense. They can't run the ball effectively, and it doesn't matter anyways, because the Bills run defense is one of the best in the NFL. And then when you consider a turnover-prone Tua against this Bills secondary, good night. Tua has nine picks over his last full eight games played. Man, when you look at the matchup, I think the Bills Hulk smash this team 35-10. All right, Kansas City, a double-digit home favorite against the New York Giants. So double-digit home favorite, done and done. No, but really, though, I do reserve the right to kind of sort of you know, backtrack my comments if Patrick Mahomes is not right. But as we stand here today, he is healthy enough to play, and hopefully we do see him on Monday night. And here's the thing, the areas where Kansas City struggles defensively, especially against the run and especially against tight end, these aren't areas where the New York Giants really attack you. Now, if New York's offense was more creative or more flexible, I, I would be worried about this spread. But as it stands, it's Jason Garrett, and he's Jason Garrett. Oh, by the way, Daniel Jones... 0 for 6 in primetime games with 12 turnovers in those six games. 12. Then on the other side, last week was Patrick Mahomes' worst game of his career if we're talking about passer rating. Look, if you want to bet that he's got two bad games in a row, be my guest, but I'm not that dude. Mahomes at home in primetime against a bad defense. I think he puts on a show. Chiefs 38-24. Yeah.